Hey everybody, this is Adam Ball from cloudrenegade.us. Uh, today we're here just to do some uh, real world headset testing. Um, before we get started though, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Tom Arbuthnot. Uh, he had given the idea, he had started actually the discussion on Twitter uh, around a blog post that he was creating and it started some chatter around uh, the different devices and how well they sound and, and everything like that. And I just decided to do a recording um, So on this. So first off, if you're not following his blog, tomtalks.uk, go do that right after this uh, video. So let's dive in. Um, what this is, this is just going to be uh, a single take. You're going to see everything. Uh, there's no editing or anything like that. Uh, we may or may not have tried this a few times to get it all in a single take, and it didn't take. And so this may be take three, four, five, who knows. Um, but we are going to film it in a complete single take so that you don't have any worries or wonders of did we modify anything. Um, from that standpoint. Um, as we're going through it, I'll talk about the various devices and just kind of give you a heads up of what's going on with them, what might be some pros, cons, um, mainly just pros of what I've liked about the devices, because um, these are mainly devices that I use day to day. Um, why are we doing this though? Um, most manufacturers really focus in on what you hear uh, or what I hear here is as the as the wearer of the device, and and that's great, but it's only half the equation. Um, if I don't have good noise canceling on the mic, if if you can hear a lot of background noise, um, it can create a lot of issues, uh, and can actually be worse than me not being able to hear is me creating a lot of background noise for the conference call or whatever call that I may be in. So that's what we're going to try to just showcase. So that as you consider devices, you can kind of tell what it's going to sound like for the people on the other end. Um, so how am I doing this? Uh, I'm simply just recording a Teams video or a Teams meeting. And we're just going to change devices as we go through um, and, and see what it sounds like. I'm not listening to it in between takes or anything like that. Um, and to make this completely realistic and unscientific, I'm just using my PC as I normally would. I've got uh, four or five browsers open with multiple tabs. I have Outlook. I have other applications open. Um, I'm not trying to get optimal. I'm just trying to get real. Um, and so as we run through the headsets, I'll have music playing at times. I'll let you know when I start and stop the music, just so you can tell what, where the differences are. You may notice it right away just because it, a headset allows background music in, um, or if I'm using the speakerphone, you can hear it more, more easily, and we'll just go from there. Um, last, before we kick this off, this is not an apples to apples um, comparison of headsets. I'm not comparing all the same type of headsets. I have um, decked, Bluetooth, um, earbuds, speakerphone, et cetera. And so we're just trying various things so you guys can hear what the far end is sounding. Um, obviously, you won't be able to tell what I'm hearing, but at the same point in time, I don't have anybody talking back to me right now in this. So you're just getting me rambling into uh, this meeting. So, so without further ado, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and start the music uh, here and get that going. And then um, what we're going to do is talk about this first headset, which is the Jabra Engage 75. It's a decked headset, which means that I can walk around. Um, I can go up to like 200 plus feet uh, away from the base station that sits on my on my desktop here uh, attached to my computer. I can go and make coffee, et cetera, while I'm wearing the headset or on a call, which is really fabulous. Um, that was always a limitation of headsets for me previously, and I really enjoy that. Um, secondly, it does have a boom, uh, which helps get that uh, the mic right up next to you so it can tell better what you're what you're saying and hopefully be a little clearer, make, might have something to do with the way they're doing noise canceling um, in the device. It does have noise canceling in the microphone, but not in the ears. It's not an active noise canceling headset um, from that standpoint. Um, so maybe not as ideal in a noisy crowded area, but um, that's that would be for you to try out and see. Um, it has a ridiculously long battery life. It's uh, well over 10, uh, 10 to 12 hours. Um, I sit on calls anywhere from three to six hours a day and it barely makes a dent in the uh, device uh, from that standpoint. So uh, just some highlights of the device. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll just go ahead and move on to the next device. Okay. 
So next up is the Plantronics Focus, now PolyFocus. Um, and the Focus is an active noise canceling headphone, set of headphones. Um, so it does have active noise canceling for the ears, plus it has noise canceling on the boom, uh, on the boom mic as well. Um, it is a Bluetooth device. So it, when it connects to my computer, it's using a dongle, and then it can connect to my mobile phone at the same time, uh, just via Bluetooth. So Bluetooth dongle on the PC, standard Bluetooth on, on my mobile phone. Um, this too has a docking station that can go on the desk, but it also can, you can plug a just straight USB cable into it and uh, charge it up. Um, in addition, it has a really long battery life as well. So uh, it goes easily eight, 10, 12 hours. Um, haven't had too many issues. I've had a few times where I've had really long days of meetings, like seven, eight, nine hours of meetings. And at the very end, it'll start to tell me that it's low or that I need to recharge it uh, before I can get that last meeting in. So before we go from this device, I'm gonna pause the music uh, again, just so you guys can hear what the difference is between um, the headphone with the music playing and the music not playing before we move on to the next device. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the next one. There we go. All right, so now we've flipped over to the next pair of headphones, obviously different. Uh, we went with the earbud style this time. These are the Jabra Evolve 65Ts. These are different than the Elite 65Ts or Elite's versions. Uh, these are the Evolves, these are the business class. They do come with a dongle to connect via Bluetooth to the PC. And with that, um, we are uh, able to get that connection again, both to the PC and to the mobile device at the same time. Um, these are not active noise canceling in the earbuds. These are passive noise canceling. So that means that they are going to use the, the fit to basically block out kind of like a, uh, just stuffing a uh, little um, earplugs in uh, or something of that nature. So they're trying to get, seal out noise versus using uh, technology to cancel out the noise. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the music again so that we can kind of hear that background noise. I've been playing with these a little bit more. Um, I've had a few people tell me that when music's playing, they get the, that I start to get a robot voice uh, with, these, with these earbuds when, when there's a lot of background noise. So let's see how it works here. These are really comfortable overall. Uh, I found that it took me just a little bit to get them right. And uh, once I figured out how they were fitting, they, they really fit well. And I love to travel with them at this point. Uh, they've actually become one of my go-to devices for travel. So now I'm gonna switch back over to another device. Uh, now that we've had a switch on uh, with the Evolve 65 Ts here. This is all, you know, I had a few issues with these, uh, these MD-16 earlier, and having a little crosshair devices in that. These are the Sennheiser MD-16. These are obviously having a focus. Uh, in addition, these are, these don't have a boost. These have mics built in and around, and they're picking up sound. Uh, it's actually interesting, so put them on the mappers. You, people can't hear you talk about uh, this on how well does the isolation within that. It has various laws and adjust it. In addition, but with a single tap, we actually do a little bit as well, but really simple on this. So if I'm on the or something, But yeah, I can touch it and just actually end up putting it on or putting it in the screen. This is 
So just like the Focus, it, it needs a dongle to connect to the PC, uh, but it can connect to the mobile device on mobile to natively, um, and use the, the mobile app on it to adjust the side phone. Um, and turn off the music now. Uh, talking about the 660s here, this does have a really long battery life. Um, I have never gotten to the end of them. Um, don't typically will wear. I don't typically wear them all day long. Uh, usually traveling or on a flight like that, but four or five hours um, at the airport or in a plane and things like that, it doesn't phase them at all. So uh, really comfortable, like I said, over the ear versus on the ear. Uh, so for some people, that really makes a big difference on it. So next up, let's go ahead. And over. And we've now changed over to a Poly Trio 8800. And I wanted to kind of just give this for, for the fact that people might be joining meetings from a conference room. I always use the, the paper test, right, where you kind of shuffle some papers and see how well that picks up um, because that happens around a speakerphone a lot. Um, the, the Trio, this is, not, this is your typical Starfish uh, phone. This is not something that somebody would have on their desk. I have it because I was doing some testing. Um, really appreciate it, and uh, it, it works great for, for the various tests that I've run it through. Um, this one is currently connected to my PC via USB as a USB device, but it can also be connected straight through on a uh, Ethernet and just be a standalone device on its own. Uh, but I had it here, so figured why not to try it and test it and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to start the music now. Um, with the music, the the Starfish is only about 12 to 14 inches away from the speaker. So I'm assuming that it's going to have a lot of bleed over. You're not going to hear me as well. Hopefully you hear me clearly and not robot, um, things like that. The robot voice, the jitter, um, that's always poor experience. And we, we're trying to avoid those kinds of things. Um, so uh, again, Polycom, uh, Polytrio, uh, not what most people would have uh, in their desks. So for the last one here, I'm going to flip over to my webcam. I'm actually going to use the mic off of my Logitech Brio. So let's get that set up. Okay, so last and not but least, um, we're just using the mic off of the Logitech Brio that's here. Um, I don't normally do this. It just happened to be here. I wanted to add another device, get people to see what, uh, what things sound like. Um, again, so this is on top of my monitor, and my speakers are underneath my monitor. So about a foot, again, probably a little, little bit further away than what the Trio was um, from the devices. Now, the webcam itself, obviously, you guys can tell, is a phenomenal webcam. I really appreciate uh, how great the, the uh, camera is on it. People co constantly are complimenting me on, on how great it is reading the things behind me, telling how bad uh, my credenza is behind me, so why I try to sit up and try to make it suit and hide some of the mess behind me. Uh, but hopefully, you guys can hear the difference as we go through it. I'm going to go ahead and pause the music. Um, and again, just trying to give everybody some flavor of how well the noise block is going or how how well it's not going from that standpoint um, in, in, in all of that regard. So last, I'm going to go ahead and change back over to the Engage 75 as we wrap this up. All right, there we go. Um, six devices, a single take. Um, not going to comment on how many takes it took to get a single take, uh, but nothing special. But now you can hear how it might sound on the far end if you're using one of these devices um, from that standpoint. And again, no judgments. These are all great devices. I've had a great time testing them, working with them. Um, the various manufacturers have been fantastic there. Um, just if I've had any issues, I've been able to uh, work with them really easily in, in that regard. So most people should have the same experience. Um, but as you wear them, as you, you want to know how well you're sounding to the other people. So I'm planning on posting more videos on this channel. So if you like it, hit subscribe. Uh, if you're following on the blog, hit subscribe. I try to get out uh, at least a blog post uh, or two a month. Uh, nothing, I'm not 
uh, one of those uh, Iron Man bloggers that gets them out every day or every week, but I try to add content and add value every uh, at least once or twice a month and hopefully get some new videos up and going here shortly. Thanks for watching. Again, uh, cloudrenegade.us is the blog, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks.